Springfield, Ohio Mayor Rob Rue is joining me now on the Scott Sand Show. Mayor, we're on live now. Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you for having me on. Let's let's just start with the positives. Tell everybody who's never been down to Springfield, Ohio, and I've been through the town a few times when I was in Dayton. Uh, what's Springfield, Ohio like? We are a beautiful city, and we are a city that is uh, full of people that have big hearts, and we we will fix things collaboratively and work together. So just like any other legacy city, like in the state of Ohio, we're a Midwestern city who has to, uh, you know, we have to make sure that we can uh, take care of our community. And we just find ourselves in the crosshairs of a situation we never thought we'd be in. So how, how did you wind up? How, how long has this been growing, uh, a growing problem in Springfield, uh, so that you found your, your town of 50, 55,000 people with an additional 15 to 20,000 immigrants from Haiti? How long did it take to get to that number, and, and how did they wind up in your city? Well, what we've experienced is just a fast-growing population over the last three to four years where we've grown 20 25 percent in our population and that's going to strain the infrastructure on any city and what we're doing as city leaders is trying to uh, you know put our arms around this situation and handle it in the best way possible uh, and, and so that's you know we, we have a strain in our health care system our safety forces and as well as our school system so we're just trying to put our arms around it and get a hold of this so we can function well as a city Obviously, it's it's been a problem, uh, a number that's been growing for the last three or four. Why are, why are we just now hearing about it? I mean, it, the, the cat memes have certainly uh, attracted national attention and social media attention. But have you been raising your hand as, as the mayor of Springfield, Ohio, asking for help for the last three years? Or is it just now coming to a head? So speaking directly to the cat memes, I want to say, again, Springfield is a beautiful city and your pets are safe in Springfield. That incident did not happen in Springfield. It actually happened in Canton, Ohio, and the lady was arrested for mutilation of an animal, animal cruelty. So those are, those are just false and ridiculous. Uh, we do have, a, you know, in Springfield, we've seen a culture class with the immigrants that are in town, and it, as it would be anywhere, and it's been difficult at times. Uh, but we are, we are trying to do our best to, to uh, create a safe environment in our community. And this, this attention that we've been put under uh, with the with some of the things that have been said about our community is just entirely unfair and, and untrue. And and in many gr- ways, uh, absolutely racist. And I, I, I hate to see the threats of violence that, that you and your city are now getting and the bomb threats that we were just talking about uh, are unfortunate and, yeah. and regrettable. Uh, and, and I think it's, it's a perfectly acceptable position to say the cats and dogs and pets and ducks and geese and squirrels are fine and, and safe in Springfield. But you've still got a problem with the number of immigrants that, that are there that are creating a strain on public resources, education, health care, uh, your, your, uh, your housing situation. All can be stressed because of the number of, of immigrants that have come there. And, and again, pointing out that they are there, they are there legally, uh, asylum seekers from, from Haiti. Uh, your thoughts on, on that immigration policy, the, the Biden-Harris immigration policy, which has allowed 20,000 people to come to your city legally. Well, and, and we're saying 12 to 15 to be a realistic number, but I know I've said and seen as high as 20. But, you know, as far as that federal policy, you know, it came through um, the White House administration, and this was a policy that, you know, for under this administration is a legal policy. The problem is, though, it's not a congressional policy, which means it doesn't have congressional funds. And so there is there are folks that have been able to come in the United States without accountability, without any uh, without any funding to help cities like ours handle this influx. So my concern, my concern has been we are, we are strained to be able to handle the influx that has come into our community. And that's what, when we, sit, we put our hand up, you know, that we need help, we need help with translation services. And so when we're asking for funds, we're asking that we be able to communicate with the people that are here. And, you know, we've also seen traffic concerns. You know, I have a culture class. You don't have really good driving habits or people know how to drive that are coming into our town. So, you know, Mike DeWine, the state of Ohio, he stepped up and has had done a coordinated effort with our state, with our city police department and county uh, uh, sheriff's department to have a coordinated efforts to help with reckless operations so we can uh, have safer streets. He has not sent troops to Springfield. He has simply helped us with a coordinated effort to, uh, to help our safe streets. Springfield, Ohio, Mayor Rob Rue here on the Scott Sand Show. Mayor, let's, let's try to debunk or, or verify some of the other rumors that are going around. 
We're, we're hearing reports that 25-year-old Haitians are being enrolled in your public school system with, with 15-year-old high school sophomores and juniors. Is that happening? That's not happening. But the city, the state of Ohio and education system, they have to educate up to 22 years old. But what, what happens is uh, if these, they are able to go into like a college program or some sort of program, they're, trying, they're redirected. So that is something that is under the state, uh, the state uh, school system, okay? You're welcome to try to get a hold of our superintendent to speak more about education. But no, 25-year-olds are not in general population with our, our kids. You get, 20, you get 15, 10, 15, 20,000 people moving into your town. That's going to cause a housing crisis. We're hearing that there are, there are 20, 30 people or more uh, living in, in one, two, three-bedroom houses. And, and rent housing costs in your city are skyrocketing. What can you share about that? So I would say definitely that uh, there has been uh, landlords from in town and out of town, large larger corporations that have uh, come, or excuse me, LLCs, larger LLCs that have come in and and uh, bought properties and have jacked the rent up. That that has happened and that's been a concern. People that have been faithfully paying rent, citizens of Springfield for years, have been evicted not by the Haitians but by people that by by the uh, uh, individuals that have sold their house sold their houses or rental properties. So we, we have seen that, and the demand for houses has increased in our community. You know, look, over the last decade, Springfield has seen, a, you know, uh, we've, we've had an economic decline prior to a decade ago, and over the last decade we've seen 8,000 jobs come to Springfield. We've seen a housing boom in the last, you know, that in the next five years we're going to see 2,000 houses come online. So, you know, that's, that's pretty exciting. Those are upward trends for Springfield, but it's hard for us to come against this political vortex right. and headwind that's come against us and push against it when we're actually making forward progress in Springfield. In, in the city, and we're, we're seeing videos, and, and, uh, and, and some of them I, I think we could take with a grain of salt. Talk to me about crime in the city of Springfield, Ohio. We're hearing that crime rates are up, according to FBI data, by about 140 percent. So what we've seen in our area is we don't, we don't have an increase in actual crime from the immigrants that have come into our town. We have seen an increase in traffic, uh, traffic uh, crime and, bi- and traffic issues. What about health care? Has there been an increase in HIV AIDS cases and unvaccinated children who are normally uh, vaccinated against early childhood diseases before they go into school? Haitian immigrants are coming in and they're unvaccinated. Has that caused a, a health crisis? You know, I, would, I don't think it's caused a health crisis, but it's a health concern because uh, you know, you have immigrants that have come into our town that doesn't, into our community that doesn't have the same health requirements in their country, obviously. You know, vaccinations and, and things that are practiced in the United States in our community are not there. So, so have we seen a difference? Yes, but, you know, that would be something that you would speak to our health commissioner about to have more details about. Yeah, but I, we definitely I, want to I'm saying, on top of I'm saying numbers that, that show an increase in HIV AIDS of 871 percent and tuberculosis up 500 percent in the same period. I, I I don't know if those numbers are verifiable. Hoping hoping to get that information from from you, uh, Rob Rue, Mayor of Springfield, Ohio, here on the Scott Sand Show. Uh, how did these these immigrants wind up in Springfield? Who paid for them to move to your city? Well, I can't really answer the fact if anybody's paid uh, for them to come to Springfield. I will say that the city government had no made no effort to bring. Uh, immigrants into our community at all. So, you know, we were accused originally that this was an effort in conjunction with uh, someone that the city was involved. We were not involved with that. We did not know uh, that there was this fast increase of folks coming to our town. We did start to see new people in our community, but, and unfortunately this this was highlighted when we did have a, a, a traffic accident that did take the right. life of a young boy uh, a year ago. And, and, uh, and we did immediately investigate. You know, I went to uh, I went to uh, the source of, of who would know if there were new jobs in the area to sell. I went to the employment agencies to determine to see, did they know anything? And if they did know anything, why did they at least let the city know that, hey, you're going to see 10,000 people come to your town over the next two years. You know, you need to be prepared. Let's work hand in hand as the private sector and public sector. That did not happen. So, you know. Mayor, that Mayor, would be something that you want to talk to. Have, have you Go ever ahead. have you ever been to Haiti? And uh, I, I have, I mean, uh, whenever there's a a controversy like that, the the saying is always follow the money. Is uh, is anyone in city government in Springfield, Ohio, profiting from this influx of immigrants? Not in city government, not at all. And I've never been to Haiti. 
Springfield, Ohio, Mayor Rob Rue here on the Scott Sands Show. Uh, earlier today, President Trump held a press conference in California, talked about doing a town hall in Aurora, Colorado, where we've heard about Venezuelan gangs, and also coming to Springfield, Ohio to host a town hall. Would you, would you welcome Donald Trump? Would you welcome Kamala Harris to Springfield to see what's happening firsthand? It would be very difficult to have either one of the presidential candidates in our town right now. Very difficult. Is there a candidate whose immigration policy you support more than the other? Um, all I know is that there has been no true immigration reform over the last, from what I understand, over the last uh, two decades, a couple decades, and there's been lots of red and blue in the White House since then. There needs to be true immigration reform. You know, I've spoken to other mayors uh, around the uh, area, and this is something that needs to be looked at completely. The immigration reform. What What do you think the the next steps need to be? And are Are you concerned that once the cat memes go away, that the the attention and the support that you need for Springfield, Ohio, will also go away? Uh, we 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 would hate to see an Ohio town become like Flint, Michigan, where they're still having a a fight against a water price problem, a water crisis from a decade ago. So the attention that we've received has been negative because of of you know some. Uh, things that were absolutely not true. The help that we're asking for, we're not asking for bailout help. We're asking for help to just with our translated services to be, to reinforce some of our infrastructure. You know, Springfield is strong. Springfield is resilient, and we're we are a wonderful community. And we're gonna get we're gonna get behind our community, and we we are gonna get, come out of this. But uh, I, I, you know, we're not imploding on ourselves. Things you've heard, we're not. You know, we are doing the best we can, but we do need some help in the interim be able to uh, be able to communicate effectively with the folks that are here in our town. And most importantly, Toontz's and Tiger the Cats are are perfectly fine and safe in Springfield. Your pets are safe in Springfield, Ohio. Rob Rue, Mayor of Springfield, Ohio, I really appreciate your time. I'm I'm sure you're getting tons of questions from around the country, uh, but it's nice to hear directly from you, and we'll take you at your word for, for what's happening in your city. I have no reason to lie to you. I would like... I would like this spotlight off our city. We have lots to do in our town. We're doing we're doing wonderful things in Springfield, Ohio. Rob That's Roo. what we need to talk about. Absolutely. Thank you for your time, sir. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. There you have it. Your thoughts. I am running way behind, obviously, now. Uh, I will figure out how to get caught up, uh, but I'd love to hear your comments. If you're streaming iHeartRadio on your phone, please tap the microphone. Send me a voice message, a talkback comment right now. Your thoughts on what the mayor of Springfield, Ohio, Rob Rude, just told us here on the Scott Sand Show.